new technologies are blurring the boundaries between the real and the virtual worlds. The brain can control a machine and even perceive it as its own body. Can that improve our lives? Barcelona University, scientists are working on a European research project to link a human brain to a robot using skin electrodes and video goggles so that the user feels that they are actually in the android body wherever it is in the world. In virtual reality we present you with uh, 3D cues that are some other space and inside of that space when you look down you see you have a body and you see that it interacts you feel that this virtual representation that I see is my body to a certain extent. And this is interesting because the, the brain actually accepts this in some senses as your body. The electrodes measure brain impulses, okay. enabling a person to control the robot's actions without moving their own limbs. The idea is to enable severely disabled people to enter the world via a real-life avatar. The actions are associated with squares that are flashing with different frequencies and the operator can trigger an action by simply focusing attention on one of the squares. The frequency of the flashing will be reproduced in the brain's visual cortex so we can detect which square the operator is looking at. giving an I don't know kind of gesture. The computer is trained to recognize certain signals that their brain gives out and those signals have particular meanings like one signal might mean move your arm, another signal might mean move the other arm, another signal might mean move forward and so on. So the idea is that the, uh, the person with a disability is back in the world in a physical sense of being able to interact with people, move around and so on, even though in reality they may be in bed or sitting down somewhere in a wheelchair and so on. I need your clothes. 